Fitness has been my passion since I was 11 years old. When you spend your life bringing the lab to the gym, there's no such thing as bro science. Hundreds of studies conducted, thousands of articles written, and techniques continuously tested. There are no variables, just results. I'm Dr. Jim Stepani. Today's chest workout is workout one, week one, and phase one of my 532 strength training program. Now this is a super heavy program that's gonna take you through 10 weeks of very heavy weight on the main exercises and will leave you stronger than you've ever been before. Now I'm about to start the chest workout, but I wanna remind you that heavy is just a relative term. A lot of people think when they hear heavy, it means they have to be bench pressing 315 or 405 pounds. Heavy is what's heavy to you. And during this workout, I'm not even gonna be going that heavy just to show you that it's not about impressing anyone. It's about finding the proper weight that's gonna allow you to get five reps for five sets. The first exercise is gonna be the bench press. Here, it's absolutely critical that you're hitting all five reps for all five sets. So that means on the first set, you're not gonna to go to absolute failure. You wanna save something. Your rest period is gonna be somewhere in the two to three minute range, but the real key to doing the bench press properly and safely is your upper arm position. You don't want your arms straight out forming a T. That's gonna to lead to shoulder problems. One thing that you can kind of visualize to do this is to think about holding grapefruits in your armpit. So you're actually gonna be squeezing with your lats as you lower that bar down and keeping your arms in that proper position. Now the second exercise in this chest program is the incline bench press. Here you're gonna be doing three sets of six to eight reps. You're gonna take an overhand grip a bit wider than shoulder width apart. What's different is where you lower the weight. Because the body is on an incline, now you're gonna lower the weight more towards the upper or middle chest. You can't really go too low on the chest due to the incline of your upper body. So lower it down nice and slow through the upper chest. And again, you still want to explode the weight up nice and explosively back up over your upper chest. The third exercise in this chest workout is the flat dumbbell bench press. Here you're gonna be doing three sets, again, six to eight reps per set. Like with the incline bench press, this is an assistance exercise that is gonna help you increase your strength on the barbell bench press, but also help to focus on muscle growth, mainly the middle and lower pec area. Now with the dumbbell bench press, obviously you're using dumbbells, which means each hand is moving independently of the other one. That's gonna help increase the use of stabilizer muscles in the shoulder girdle that help, and that's gonna help increase overall muscle strength when you get to that barbell bench press, which you're using as your barometer of your upper strength on the chest for this program over the full 10 weeks. Incline dumbbell fly. And this is an assistance exercise, so you're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps. Unlike the previous three exercises, which were multi-joint exercises, this is a single joint exercise, sometimes called an isolation exercise. Being on an incline helps to focus a bit more on the upper pec muscle fibers. Now to do the incline dumbbell fly, you're gonna hold the dumbbells over your chest, close together. You're gonna keep a slight bend in the elbows. Bring your arms down as low as possible, maintaining just that slight bend in the elbows. Then you're gonna focus on using your chest to bring your arms back up and together in the top position. After the incline dumbbell fly, we move into abs. And the first ab exercise is your standard crunch. You're gonna be doing three sets to muscle failure. 
One of the things about abs and rep speed is that most people think you need to really focus on slow and controlled reps. But with the crunch, research has shown that the faster and more explosive you do your crunches, the more of not only the abdominal muscles, but also the obliques that are used. You can rest as little as a minute to two minutes at the most for most of these ab exercises. The second ab exercise is the reverse crunch. This helps to focus more on the lower abs. You're gonna do three sets to failure just like you did with the crunch. You're gonna place your hands at your side to support your body, or if you're using a bench, you can hold on to the bench. Start with your hips and your knees bent at 90 degrees. Then what you're gonna do is use your lower abs to curl your hips up off the floor, bringing your knees toward your head. Then you're gonna slowly lower it, reverse the motion to lower your hips back to the floor. The third and final ab exercise is the oblique crunch. Here you're gonna be doing three sets to failure just like with the other ab exercises. Here obviously, as the name implies, the focus is on the oblique muscles. And then once you've done all reps to failure on one side, you're gonna swing your knees over to the other side and then complete the reps just in the same manner, but on that side, again, till muscle failure. So that's it for this chest workout. Now, if you have any other questions on this workout or any of the workouts, you could reach me at my body space, my Twitter, or on my Facebook page. And for more programs and tips like this from me, be sure to come back to bodybuilding.com. Thank <laughs> you.